Thank you with Mike Johnson. Kachuk versus Kachuk is something we always enjoy, and usually we only get it two times a year. But this year, nine, including five in the next, as you see there, neither has a point on the road. MJ, who has the edge tonight? Well, I think as far as pressure goes, it's Matthew Kachuk has a lot of pressure. He came out very clearly said this trip coming up was important for him and his team. He called himself out saying that I need to be better. I need to be the catalyst to help our team get back on track, get back into the race in the north. And his team is supposed to be much better. So I think Matthew has a lot of pressure to not only play well and go up against his brother, but also lead his team to potential victory. As opposed to Brady, who it's all just gravy right now. He's playing well. The team's playing well. He's picking up points. And their team is not necessarily supposed to compete for a playoff spot. So we can go out there, and we see this in Brady Kachuk most nights, just play free, play, have fun, really enjoy all the moments, including the ones going up against his brother. But um, I think you just kind of see Brady... Like a lot of the Ottawa centers, just realizing that this is about experience and about doing the best they can and not a lot of pressure to get results. So in that sense, they are quite a bit different tonight. We enjoy the games. We're not sure their mom, Chantal, does. In <laughs> fact, apparently she bought a sweater that says, uh, all I want is for both teams to have fun. <laughs> Mom's got a sense of humor. We know Dad Keith has a sense of humor, plus a ton of talent and toughness. And <laughs> the boys clearly taking things from both parents. Guys, we really look forward to this. Fans look forward to it. Do you? Starting with you, Brady? Yeah, absolutely. This is uh, the games that we circled on the calendar. So now we're uh, you know, excited to face against each other on the ice and you know, see each other off. Yeah, I think uh, I think I get more uh, more excited just seeing him out there and seeing what he's done, seeing how much he's improved since last time I've seen him on the ice. But, um, yeah, we don't get to see each other in person a lot uh, during the season. So we can get a quick chat, uh, whether it's in warm-ups or uh, after the game, before the game, uh, we take advantage of it. So talk all the time, but it's different when it's in person. It's a different year this year. Normally you would meet twice a year. Your, your parents would come up to, to Calgary or to Ottawa to see you. This is the first of five meetings in 11 days. You'll play each other nine times this season. Not easy for your folks, is it, Matthew? No, no, it's not. These next two weeks will be pretty stressful. They'll uh, crack, go, crack open a couple bottles of wine here and uh, try to enjoy this as much as possible. Because normally when we play here in Ottawa, it's... Uh, it's like an event with the amount of people that come in. It's a big party, so um, they're not too stressed out during those games. But I think watching it at home, uh, not being uh, able to see it in person, it sucks for them. But uh, it is what it is. But not only them, we have so many people back home watching. So they've been looking forward to these too. Um, so uh, I guess we'll try to have to put on a show for them. <laughs> Yeah, no, Matthew said it. It's uh, usually an event when uh, it comes here. Everybody has a good time. So it seems like they, they can't be here, especially when we play each other nine times. But, um, no, we got a lot of people watching, so it should be good tonight. Now, guys, as you know, I've known your family for a long time, so I checked in with your folks last night. They did ask me to ask you a question. Uh, Brady, you lost three teeth or had three teeth broken the other night. Um, your parents, especially your mom, would like to know, given the amount they've spent on dentists and orthodontists over the years, will either or both of the two of you wear your mouth guard properly at some point? Well, yeah, that saved me from losing more teeth the other day. It was actually for the first time this year it was fully in. So um, I don't know. Maybe tonight if it happens, maybe not. So. Maybe keep her on her toes a little bit more. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's been it's been this is my fifth year. It's Brady's third year. I don't know if we're gonna be changing anytime soon. Where does it come from? Is that a Patrick Kane thing? Because a lot of kids do it. A lot of American kids do it now. <laughs> I don't know. It's just I don't. I can't. I have no idea. No idea. Um, I don't know. Like I can't answer that. Just maybe just get bored. Just chew on it. <laughs> yeah, sitting on the bench just. Keep me occupied. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for talking to us, and enjoy tonight and the next uh, three games in five days. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thank you. Have a good one. Thanks, Brady, just uh, you had mentioned earlier in the week that um, uh, you had marked this off on your calendar. Just how special is it to play the next uh, five of six against uh, your brother? Yeah, well, I think it's just special for not only Matthew and I, but just our, you know, our parents, my sister Taryn, just you know, all of our extended family, friends that will be watching, it's, um, you know, it's huge for them too because, you know, they've all had an impact on us and they've all, all you know, helped us get to where we are now. So um, I think it's just a great moment for everybody. And, and of course, Matt and I circle this because, you know, it's so much fun to see one another as well. And it's just, uh, it's going to be a blast. It's, I mean, they're big games too. So, um, you know, we're not going to take it, uh, take these games lightly. We both want to win. And, and um, I know we're both going to do whatever it takes to win. I, how different is a sibling rivalry from a team rivalry? I mean, I wouldn't say it's uh, much of a sibling rivalry. I think it's just, uh, um, I mean, the team rivalries are different. And 
Um, you know what? It's it's fun to play against them, but at the end of the day, it's we're competitors on the ice. It's you know we can be brothers after and before, but when we get on the ice, we both want to win. So, um, yeah, it'll be good to see him. But uh, most important uh, thing today is getting some uh, getting two points. Do you like the idea of the Kachuks facing off against each other? Yeah, I, I mean. <laughs> They're both such high emotion, physical players that, that do anything to win. Um, I'm sure their mom and dad wouldn't want to see them play much against each other. And, and that'll be a decision I make tonight as to what line uh, we want to match up against. Um, but I'm sure if you ask their parents, they'd say they'd rather see them not play against each other. Brady, you were talking the other day about, you know, from a young age, you had the mindset of not taking a back seat to anyone. I'm, I'm just wondering what like the environment was for you and your brother growing up that's kind of led to the, the competitive edge that, that both of you clearly play with every night when you're in the NHL. Yeah, you know, well, you know, no matter what we were doing, it was always a competition. And you now Matthew being the older brother, so much bigger than me growing up, he beat me up every single day and, and uh, beat me in every competition. So um, yeah, I mean, I had to really work my hardest to try to stick with him. But um, you no, know, just as we were growing up, he's just so much better than me. He's bigger, stronger, faster. And um, yeah, I got to, I got used to getting my butt kicked, so um, I was trying to do everything I can to win, but it just never really happened. So, um, now with him, it's with, he never took the foot off the gas there. He's always giving it to me, but um, I think that, like you said, it helped us out uh, in the long run. Growing up, were you able to to catch get in on the pickup games with him and, and his older friends growing up, and did that maybe help lead to the, the competitive spirit you have? Yeah, all the time. It's whenever he had buddies, we had a nice little – Roller hockey in the driveway never really, you know, got cold in St. Louis, so we can do it all year round. And um, yeah, I was always playing with them. It was, I was always the young, small kid trying to keep up with them. And you know, I think that, you know, looking back at it helps me out a lot. And um, yeah, I mean, with Matthew, he always brought me along and always made me feel included. And um, as much as he gave it to me, I think he wanted me around just to beat up on me. But um, no, it was good. It was fun. And um, those are some great memories that uh, we'll both have. Hey Chris, do you do you feel like Matt and Brady play the same game in a lot of ways? Yeah, very similar. I mean, they both uh, like to go to the net. They both, uh, you know, can create um, a lot of havoc in there when when pucks are getting tossed in there. And you know, they're they're pretty good in that, uh, you know, that little five foot area all around the net. Um, you know, finding pucks and, and finding ways to get the puck in. So, yeah, I think there's a lot of similarities in their game. So over the next couple of weeks, do you guys seize communications or, or what's the plan here over the next stretch? Yeah, I mean, we're always in, in contact with one another, but um, yeah, I mean, I feel like we're able to turn on competitive mode and, and when we get on the ice, it's try to win, but off the ice, I mean, we're still family and um, maybe friends before and after the game, but on the on the ice, it's a whole different story. But yeah, it's, uh, I wouldn't say there's a seize of communication, just competitors on the ice. What's your anticipation uh, like as, as you guys get set to play more uh, more games in a row than we've ever seen uh, out of the two of you at this level? Uh, yeah, it's, it's different. Uh, it's something that um, I guess we kind of talked about briefly, but we didn't you know realize uh, what it was going to be like till we got here. So I'm um, playing them a lot here in the next uh, next two weeks, a uh, week and a half. So uh, we'll be seeing a lot of him, a lot of his team, and uh, they're playing uh, as good a hockey as anybody in the division right now, just right in time for us. So um, we have to make sure we're ready to go. And this is uh, this isn't a team where their record shows how they're playing right now. Like they're they're playing really, really well and playing hard and playing physical. And uh, these aren't going to be fun games, uh, you know, to plan against them. They're hitting you every chance they get. They're in your face. They're skating well. Um, so, uh, we're expecting an easy game that we've got another thing coming. Um, got to be ready to go from, uh, from the start of the game. He talked this morning about how much it helped him that, you know, his older brother was kind of always bigger and, and stronger and trying to keep up. How did that help you? You know, knowing he was kind of pushing the other direction, what did that do for you in terms of you guys both getting to, to this stage now? Uh, well, I think we talked about it a lot, but uh, just to have somebody that we were able to compete against uh, every single day when we were growing up, no matter what we did, um, no matter what sport we did, no matter anything in life we're competing in. So um, we're close enough in age where 
Um, it wasn't uh, always uh, completely lopsided with saying that I took the majority of them when we're younger, but um, you know, he's, uh, he's definitely, uh, definitely the different, different kid than I was competing against when I was 10 years old and he was eight or nine, whatever it was. So he's a man now, he's way bigger than me. I think that's pretty obvious. Um, I'm seeing what he's done uh, this year. He's, he's been playing uh, great, especially as of late. And I know, um, you know, times have, have been tough this year for, for their team, but he's, he's done a great job of, of leading them. And, and, you know, I think we all see the way he plays, the way he carries himself. I mean, he's the epitome of uh, a leader and, and a teammate in that dressing room from talking to some of their guys and uh, just an all around great guy and great player. And, and uh, you know, I'm just happy to, uh, to, to see some notoriety he's getting this year because he, uh, he deserves it. I'm just wondering if you remember uh, that transition as you kind of got into the third year in the league, what Brady's kind of going through now. I know you've, you watch him obviously a lot, um, but just what your experiences was as you kind of, you know, now get into the third year and just kind of getting more comfortable with the league. And are you seeing some of those steps or similarities uh, in Brady this year? Yeah, I'd, uh, my, I'd say my, uh, from what I can remember my first year, um, be lying to you if I said if I said I wasn't just happy to be there. Um, it was it was just a fun year in that we made the playoffs when I don't know if we we're supposed to or not, but um, won a bunch of games there at the end. So it was just just an overall really fun year. Second year um, felt that I was taking more of a, a step, being put in a couple better situations, kind of similar to Brady um, last year and maybe I guess the end of his first year once they traded a couple guys away. Um, but then my third year, it, it helped our team had tons and tons of success. We we're all playing awesome, um, you know, offensively, defensively, everybody was playing awesome. So um, it helped my transition there and helped me take that next step. And I think I'm seeing similar things with Brady this year. I think he's um, kind of taking over that team uh, on and off the ice. And so that from afar, seeing that, that, that makes me very proud uh, just shows a teammate he is. And, and just his competitiveness on the ice, it, it's very uh, infectious in the way his team plays the way he plays. And, uh, you know, he brings it every single night. And and um, I think his leadership, on that's what I mean by his leadership on the ice. I think uh, he's he's playing like, uh, you know, he, want, he wants to win every single night. So um, I'm just proud of him. I really am. Um, maybe... Uh, you know, we're not necessarily in very similar situations, but I think that both of us that third year maybe took another step. Uh, so I see that as probably the one similarity to answer your question, but uh, just very proud of him, what he's, what he's done so far. And, and we're going to have our hands full with him tonight, uh, the way he's playing right now, the way his line's playing, the way his team's playing. Um, you know, and, and talking a little bit with him, uh, you know, throughout uh, maybe at the beginning of all this, um, you know, I think I think his team gets gets uh, a little more fired up to play us because they know they want to win it for him too. So uh, I think we we got to be ready to to get their best tonight. Matthew, generally speaking, what is your understanding of what your parents go through when they have to watch? Well, not have to when they get to watch you guys play head to head. I don't know. Probably pretty stressful. Uh, I'm sure it includes a couple drinks that try to help with that, but. Um, I actually have no idea. I know that they're normally at the games and normally when we're they're at the games here in Ottawa, there's a bunch of people with them. So it's not really a game. It's more of a party. So, um, but I don't know what they're doing tonight. I, I haven't really even talked to them yet. I'm sure they'll just be watching at home. Uh, maybe some people will come over to the house and watch, but uh, we know that these next two weeks, basically all everyone we know in the U S we watch. And so um got to play well and, and our team needs it. But uh, to answer your question, I actually have no idea, but I'll, I'll ask them for you uh, later on today. Talking to your, uh, talking to your dad the other day. Um, one thing that he stressed was that uh, uh, the rule is in place from your mom still. Uh, no fighting allowed between the two of you. Your comments on that? Yeah. Anybody that thinks we're going to fight is an idiot. Straight up. I don't know why people keep saying that each and every year. They obviously haven't played against their brother in a sport ever. So, um, yeah, that's all I got there.